task of the game is actually for you to deliver your club in a way that tells the ball where to go. In the coming weeks and months, you will get a whole new type of video on my channel. This is going to take you to a whole nother level. The head pro of Top Golf, Mark Davis, is going to take me from a 16.1 handicap golfer and down to a single digit golfer. At least that's what I'm hoping will happen because Mark has agreed to give me lessons in person, making the changes I need to play better golf, the best golf of my life. And I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going to have Mark in every lesson, talk to you guys directly into the camera, explaining how good or bad I'm doing in, in the lessons and how receptive I am as a golfer. Do I have too much like YouTube golfer in me? I have watched hundreds and thousands of YouTube videos with different angles on the shaft and everything. Can we put that to sleep and start like over start fresh? Mark's gonna help me. He has a unique teaching style that helps golfers improve in a new way. It's like unique. I get so excited when I talk to Mark and what you're gonna see now in the rest of this video is an interview I did with Mark Davis uh, in his Trackman studio at Topgolf a few weeks ago. Enjoy this interview and make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down here and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Please enjoy what Mark has to say about his teaching style and how he's gonna help me improve in golf this 2022 season. Let's do this guys, thank you, yes! In this video, I'm going to have a chat with Mark Davis, one of the best coaches in Norway, uh, or probably the Europe, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get, don't get carried away. I think that's a bit bold. But uh, we are going to do some videos together and you're going to help me becoming a better golfer. Yeah. Uh, could you just explain, like introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you for the kind words. Very nice of you to invite me onto your, to your show, your, your channel. It's um, my honor. I'm very happy to be here and, and help you. So yeah, I mean, uh, I've been in golf all my life since I was six years old. So I've done it pretty much every day. Yeah. At 19, I quit playing professionally and, and headed the coaching journey. And I solely focused almost every day of my life on how to be a better golf coach. Yeah. Um, so that's been my journey since then. That's now 23 years in and I'm still learning every day. So um, I've traveled the world to see the best coaches in the world. and. Now I do it my way and uh, that's what I've been doing for the last 15 years at least. Wow. So uh, yeah, it's been a very enjoyable journey, lots of highs, lots of lows and you know, I, I learn every day from everybody that comes in the room and I try and reflect each day and put that to use the next day. Yeah, so I'm very committed to coaching and being better coach and trying to find a way to help people improve at golf better. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So uh, do you have like a special philosophy of coaching or do you just look at people and do their journey or how does that work? Yeah, I think that's always an interesting question that I get all the time. Yeah. And it's very much coached into young coaches when they come through like the PGA schools and what's your philosophy, which is, uh, it's just an interesting question. But I like to use, you know, this as my kind of motto is golf is a bit like life. Yeah, you pick a target in the distance and you find your own best way to get there. Yeah. So everybody that comes in the room that's new, I treat everybody individually. Okay. I don't yeah. follow a method. I don't coach what they call a method or a system. I hear that word a lot more these days. Yeah. But um, it's individual. And, you know, if you go and see a different coach, you'll say something different to the other guy. It's so I hear that all the time as well. So my goal when someone comes into the room is to find out as much as i can about them mm. and their journey and then find a way together to start from that point to improve uh, along the journey of being a better golfer to strike the ball better to hit it further to hit it straighter mm. that is a journey that is a that is pretty much a lifelong journey and to be honest this is the most uh, hurtful answer to most people it, everybody comes in for the answer full stop yeah give me the answer 
uh, and I'll be able to do it, but you're going to be disappointed. So that's why I follow that. And I don't prescribe to anything in particular. I just go with my intuition and my coaching skills. But that, for everybody, that's zilch when they come in the room. We start from fresh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people watch YouTube videos to try to like fix their swing. What do you think about like YouTube golf instruction? Oh, how long have we got? <laughs> how long have we got? So, yeah, you know, I think it's very interesting. Um, to go against it or with it for me is not really for me to, to say. Mm. Uh, what I find is, or what I listen to is everybody's doing it. So, but nobody's getting any better at golf. So that, that's the sad truth. Yeah. Uh, we can be political about it or we can just say, you can carry on, you know, there's two sides to golf for me. There's there's the golfers who want to five minutes before they get on the tee they want to go to the youtube channel and get a quick tip that will help them yeah. for that round that's probably not going to work on the first swing yeah. or then we then i meet the golfers who have decided they want to learn to do this their own way to find their own best way to move the club and body to hit the ball to the way they want to do it yeah. uh, that for me is true development that's true learning that's creating the right environment to allow yourself to learn and excel and i think that's more realistic fast tracking than you know this word tip tricks i hear that all the time yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's controversial for me that and it, it's it's telling me that the golfer doesn't want to have a go on their own and find out for themselves okay. you know if you look at the tour players in particular they all move hold very very differently mm -hmm. so uh you know i'm not sure whether any of those players have copied each other Maybe they've taken some things and adapted it and yeah. put it into play. Yeah. But what a golfer for me is doing is they're trying to copy someone else all the time. Exactly. And that is a recipe for disaster. Yeah. So everyone has their own bodies as well. So I guess that has something to do with like you are your individual swing. Kind yeah, of. absolutely. So. You know, trying to snap your leg like Tiger yeah. or Rory or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it really, but it's very interesting and it, it's, you know, it's very seductive. Yeah. You know, you can turn on YouTube and you can go and watch uh, a really top coach on YouTube and he looks pristine. He's got very nice clothes and gloves and he stands there and he swings it like this and you go and do it and you can't do it. So where does that leave us? I know that's a very kind of honest opinion, but you know, if you want to be a better golfer, try taking that journey on yourself. What I will say, which is really interesting is, is not many golfers that I meet have developed any type of skill. Mm -hmm. And that's really interesting point that I want, I would want your viewers to reflect on as a golfer. You know, I meet a lot of golfers over 20 years, who've been playing over 20 years and they haven't got anything really to show me. Okay. Like, you know, a shot or, or, or a different curve on the ball or anything because they've prescribed to this way of, oh, my golf ball's crooked. I'll go and try and move my elbow into a different position or I'll put my head over here. And really it doesn't help you deliver the club to the ball to get the reaction that you want better exactly and i don't know too many that can come in and show me that they've improved it which tells us as the coaching world yeah. we have failed in the message that we're telling golfers we're telling them the wrong message yeah. and that's what i feel my journey is is to change wow. that to show golfers that there is a way if you're willing to take the journey that is so interesting mm. because i feel like if you told me that like show me something uh, that I know, kind of, I, I couldn't show you anything really. I that I took that to heart. Yeah, I, yeah. And I tried to hit it straight all the time, but uh, that's what I'm trying to do. But yeah, I don't do it, of course. No, there's nothing wrong with that because yeah. you know you want you want to go straight to that, and that's a common uh, theme that I meet with. Oh, yeah. I'm not ready to hit a draw or a slice. Yeah. I just want it. I'm not at that level. Yeah. But uh, you know, one of the hardest things about coaching is honesty. Yeah. And I notice it as a coach because it's a business for me as well, yeah. is, is when I say, which is probably really to the heart question, yeah. uh, do you have a feel for that shot? Can you play that shot? Depends yeah. what level they're at. Of course, yeah. And, but particularly, I meet a lot of golfers that have been playing many, 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 many years and they haven't developed any skill. And that, they look at me like, you know, that's probably when I'm going to get fired sacked as the coach yeah. because i'm asking them something that's really in a way that's asking them to self-reflect yeah. you know wow i've come into this environment i'm looking for a quick tip yeah. i'm looking for the answer 
and then this guy's gone can you show have you got any shots you could show me what have you learned over the last 20 years what have you tried yeah. nobody's tried anything no except head and elbows <laughs> you know which is really fascinating yeah. stuff and this is going to hurt a lot of people yeah. and the coaches in particular but i mean i think as coaches we need to stand up now and we have to start to yeah. tell the truth about learning and the game and where improvement lays yeah. And I think that's what I've been very, very committed to my whole career, really. Sounds very good. Yeah. Mm. So, um, you are going to like try to uh, help me go down in handicap a little bit. I'm at 16.1 now. Fantastic. Um, I worked my way down from uh, 22, I think I had uh, in the start of the season, mm. uh, last season. And this season, I mean. Um, so, I worked a little bit down, but... Um, I don't know if I really worked on something like particular to mm. do that. Mm. So what's your plan or how should I improve now? Like what, what would you do with a 16 handicapper that comes to you like I do today? Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's a difficult question. Yeah. And uh, a minefield of which way would we go? Well, I wouldn't really know till we start hitting, but I'm going to ask you some very uh, direct questions in what do you want to do with the ball, um, can you do it, um, how straight can you hit it, you mentioned you want to hit straight, do you have a feel for a straight shot, so we're going to start there, Okay. You start with what do you want to do yeah. and then we'll take it from there and see how we develop it and I think this for us and your viewers is something they can particularly follow as a journey yeah. because I don't know the recipe, mm -hmm. that's going to shock a lot of people, I don't have the answer right now and I will never have it, but we, we've got a chance to start together and find out what's yeah. the best way for you to swing, what shot is the best. You know, you know, Tiger recently has talked about his nine shots. You know, I'm sure Tiger will be more consistent of one of those types of shots. So right. maybe we need to start looking at uh, which way you're more consistent okay. at delivering the club. You know, is your shot a little fade or a draw? What is it? And we go from there and we just keep working away. What I will say is where you end up, end up yeah might not be where you thought you should be or you think you should be wow. to hit that type of shot. So I'm definitely coaching not in a, a straight and square position. Mm -hmm. And that's really interesting for a lot of people. But the task of the game is actually for you to deliver your club in a way that tells the ball where to go. Exactly. So uh, the ball doesn't know you, yeah. but it knows the club face. Yeah. So when you make a move at the ball, we get an outcome was that what we wanted then we have a chance to reflect and go away and try and change and go back and try and deliver the club differently to the ball or make the swing that we want yeah. uh, to see if we can make a different reaction in the ball i would say that would be the best way to start for us sounds good hmm. so um mark is going to take me on a little journey uh to get me to play uh, more uh, consistent and better uh in the next season uh, so I'm going to work with Mark uh, on a regular basis and mm. we're going to try to, uh, he's going to try to help me uh, and see if uh, I can actually improve. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to this mm. and um, I, I'm sure you're going to help me a lot uh, because I am self-taught mm. uh, mostly uh, and uh, I watch YouTube and learn from there. So. Um, yeah, I that's mean, my start. Yeah, that's great. And I mean, self, I always, I always like to meet people who have started on their own and had a go at their own, yeah. uh, which is really interesting because maybe you haven't been too influenced, but we've got to find out how much you've been influenced by YouTube, what you've tried and what you've, you know, I would say, you know, what have you experienced and what, how has that helped you deliver the club or hit the shots that you want to hit? Yeah. And what's really interesting is every golfer that I meet always talks about consistency. Yeah. So we've got to really talk about what does that mean to you? What are we looking at when we look at the, the ball and, and maybe track man to help us and exactly. whatever else is available to us. Yeah. And I think to find your own consistency, that's something we've got to find and get the answer to, yeah. Wow, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this uh, in the future, like uh, these uh, sessions and these videos. And I'm sure you guys are going to love them too and learn a lot from Mark Davies here. Uh, so uh, please subscribe to see all the future videos with Mark Davies uh, and me. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and please like this video. And if you have a comment for me or Mark, write them down below. Uh, so uh, thank you, Mark.
Thank you for taking me on this journey. <laughs> I'm really looking forward Fantastic. to it. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, so and good. I, I'm really excited for it. So yeah, cool. um, uh, thank you so much. No problem. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank Bye -bye. you.